Hey guys, Gina here. Today I'm going to be sharing with you my favourite Asian pop songs of October 2017. Now we're not even going to talk about the date, the date of this upload because it is honestly the latest I've uploaded a uh, Asian pop music video and I'm so sorry about this. But it says here now so let's enjoy it. Honestly I haven't been listening to that much Asian pop this month so this list may seem a little bit lacking because I haven't been listening to that many songs. And sorry that you have to put up with my big mane today. I couldn't be bothered straightening it as it is like 25 degrees at the moment and I'm sweating so much. So without further ado, let's get straight into the list. Number 10 is 09's Zapping. I believe this is not an original song by the group. This was a cover of a song that was released last year, which I also quite loved. So as soon as I heard the song, I was like, wait a second, this sounds familiar. But yeah, it seems like a cover. And this group, 09, have I yet to debut. They're going to be debuting in December, I believe. So I'm really looking forward to that. They look like a great group. Awesome dancers. Um, the song, well, this cover was amazing, in my opinion. Um, I'm really excited for the debut. Like I said, they're amazing dancers, except that the main part of this dance was the backpack kid dance. I'm just like, no, please, overuse. Don't use it anymore. But other than that, I thought it was a really good song, and the dance matched with the cover really well. Number nine, it's highlights can be better. The song is so good. What really caught my attention about this release was the music video. It is so hilarious, it's so funny, and it kind of relatable. Well, I'm not sure how relatable the chicken part was, but overall the song and the music video was so relatable. I loved it so much. I couldn't stop myself from smiling while watching this music video. And the song is awesome, it's so good. It's just a really, really song, oh, how do you explain it? It's like a really K-poppy, like poppy, happy song and what I expect from Highlight, which is amazing. And the vocals are also really amazing. Highlight's vocals never disappoint me, so it's just an amazing release. Number eight is B's Nothing Kettle. <laughs> This is not usually the type of song I listen to a lot, but I am a big fan of B. I think he's an amazing vocalist and he's been listening to a lot of ballads lately, which is not personally the type of music I like listening to. But this ballad caught me by surprise. I absolutely love it so much. The lyrics are so gorgeous his vocals are beautiful and it's just such a, the melody is just something that you listen to and you just feel the emotion you can almost feel the emotion he is feeling when he's singing the song and i really love when artists can convey their feeling or emotions through their songs to the listener so i personally really did love this release although it wasn't a song that i would normally listen to it's just, i've been listening to it surprisingly quite a lot number seven is chocolate bombs question mark i had a good job This type of song is also not the usual type I listen to, but I have been listening to it so much like recently. Um, I did find out of this group via Misamoa, they are doing a DDP party kind of joint concert thing together and they did a few videos together. I was like, oh, what is this group? So I checked them out and this song is addicting. I've been listening to it so much. It is really hyper and intense and just happy and I really love that and the dance is so weird but awesome and I just love the whole music video, the bright colours and the way they've executed it. It's just so addicting and I've been listening to it way too much to be honest. Number six is Mortal Loud's Action. <laughs> I probably butchered that dude's name, but this is a Q-pop release, it's a Q-pop artist, 
and honestly I was really surprised this type of music I haven't heard in Q-pop before so I was pleasantly surprised when I clicked on this video um, it is very grungy almost indie like which is the type of music I listen to quite a lot in English so I was really surprised when I listened to this song it is amazing this dude's vocals are so deep and mysterious in a way and I just really love the song I'm not going to attempt to pronounce number five but it is a V-pop song <laughs> guys have been requesting me to listen to the song for ages now and I finally got around to it and I'm sad that I haven't listened to it sooner. It is amazing. I didn't realise how good it actually was. The lyrics are very nice. I, they have English translations in the bottom so I can understand what they're singing about. And the female vocalists, her vocals are amazing. I quite love it. It's very, her, her vocals are very smooth and just really easy to listen to and I've been loving it and I'm sad I haven't listened to it sooner. Number four is Hyuna's Baby. When I first listened to this song, I didn't really like it that much. I think the use of English at the start and the chorus in the end, I wasn't a fan of, especially the you know, the I'm just 22 and the age is going down. But the more I listened to it, the more it grew on me and now I just really love the song. I really love the music video as well. It is very, you can, you can like see her growing up and changing, which I thought was really cool because that's what the whole theme of the song is, is how this dude makes her feel younger and younger, which I thought was really cool. And the dance is amazing. Fiona's a great dancer. All of her dances are amazing. And the song is an awesome release from here. Number three is Arashi's Mikan. <laughs> I'll just start by saying this whole untitled album by Arashi is amazing. I love this album so much. I've been listening to it a lot. In Mikan is the title track from it, I believe. Well, also, they've had Tsunagu, which was the other title track which they released quite a long time ago. No, like two months ago. This was released last month. And oh, I love Mikan so much. I've been listening to it. Honestly, I think it's my most listened to song of the album. Um, it has got a lot of mixed reviews. A lot of fans don't like it because they try to mix a lot of genres together in the one song. But I personally love that. Normally, I wouldn't really like that, but the way Arashi executed it was amazing. I really love it. Um, the music video was kind of boring, I'm not going to lie. It was very simple, not that very special. It kind of disappointed me because I was expecting something awesome for the song. Um, Matsu June hasn't aged at all. He looks the same. I swear to God, how does he not age? He looks so good still. But overall, the song was amazing. I really love how they've changed the genres, like I mentioned. And overall, it's just an awesome release, and I hope more people will listen to it more and give it a go because I think it just needs more love. Number two is Taemin's Move. Where do I start? Taemin can't do wrong. Everything he releases is a hit, it's amazing, and I love it. Taemin is my bias from Shiny and I love him so much. This song was amazing as all of his other songs, but this one was really just something different about it. The way he makes everything look so effortless is amazing, honestly, and his vocals are amazing, so gorgeous. Um, the song is very, I don't know how to explain it, it's almost like, it's so deep and haunting almost but at the same time it's very really relaxing and it just gives you that chill feel which I absolutely love and he's such an awesome performer oh my god the dance is so amazing I love it and his just like I said I think I've mentioned this before his dancing is beautiful his, he makes it look so effortless and it's just awesome but yes overall this was a great release and if you haven't checked it out I strongly suggest you do because you'll be pleasantly surprised. Because there's so many good songs this month, here are my honourable mentions which are songs I also really love but didn't make it into my top list.
自分にだけは絶対離さないで今もずっと泣いて今日もずっと泣いてここまでやってきたんでしょう大丈夫 I'm in trauma, it's c o m i n cell Stuck in trauma, no I still don't know how to pronounce his name. I'm sorry, I'm not gonna try and just offend everybody. But oh my god, this song is amazing. I have done a reaction to it, so if you would like to see it, I'll link it in the bio. But it's amazing. After listening to it for the first time, I knew I would love it. And I have, I love it so much. I've been getting into Mad Men a lot, and I really do love um, Aron and them. They're my favorite members, and they're so beautiful. This song is awesome. I really love the style of music, and it's just awesome. And I believe Aron did choreograph the song, and I can tell because it's an amazing, just so beautiful. The dance is amazing, and music video is amazing. The song is beautiful, and the vocals are just amazing as well. I honestly believe that they are going to be getting way bigger and Kazar, Kazan, I really hope so at least because they are an amazing group and I believe they deserve so much more love. I follow all the members on Instagram so I've been keeping up with them and Aron is really active on Instagram so I always watch his Insta lives and stuff and I will probably be getting into the group much more and I hope they release so many good songs in the future because I'll honestly be listening to them. That was my Asian pop songs for October 2017. I probably missed out on lots of songs because I honestly haven't been listening to that much Asian pop this month so I apologise if this list was lacking a bit. So please do leave your favourite Asian pop songs in the comments below because I love reading them and just like listening to what you, buy, what you guys have been listening to because it really makes me happy. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. I'll see you later. Bye!